Hello everyone, I am Niels from PhysioMax Wellness from Burlington and today I'm going to show you a few exercises that I consider that they are very important to keep your hips in, the, in, in a good shape and to maintain just in case if you are having some issues so in that way you can improve it. Okay, the first exercise is very simple. You, If you have a, at the house a kitchen countertop or something like you can a handrail, you can use very simple a movement, a pendulum movement from your hip. Very simple, just relaxing. It's like you were running, no tension. Very simple, just a pendulum. Don't, it's effortless. I'm not using my body to compensate in any way. And you can do the other side. Hello everyone, I am Niels from PhysioMax Wellness from Burlington. And today I'm gonna to show you a few exercises that I consider that they are very important to keep your hips in, the, in, in a good shape and to maintain just in case if you are having some issues so in that way you can improve it. Second exercise, very important to stabilize the hip, the abductors, that is one that they're opening. So keep your hips parallel to the floor, they don't move. You grab this one here or the kitchen countertop or a chair, the back of the chair, and you're gonna do this movement, very simple. I keep them at this level. I don't try to tilt or to compensate in any way. You can do 10 repetitions, and then you do the other side, and you do another 10 repetitions, and that's gonna help you to stabilize the hip. Okay, now, another exercise that I love it, is very simple. You put your hands here, and then you can bring your knee up to the level of the hips, but, without compensating like this or going like this. So you're gonna keep this parallel to the floor. So my hands are here. You can use for balance purposes, the kitchen countertop, the chair, and you can use this. Or if you feel comfortable, you can do it like that. Very simple exercise, but it's very effective. Okay. Now, this exercise is gonna be very simple and I, I, I call this exercise the clock because you have a 12 there, six there, nine, and three. And I start with this leg, keeping parallel to the floor, my hip parallel to the floor, and I raise my, with my knees completely straight. 12, I go 11, then 10, nine, eight, seven and six is my very favorite because works for many different conditions when you have knee issues hip or lower back is the bridge so you're gonna lay down here you're gonna position your arms next to your body feet shoulder width apart and in this position you engage your glutes your core and then you go up here and you hold it for two to three seconds and then you go slowly down. The most important is to control the exercise every time when you're going up and down, or you can as well, if you are more advanced, you can go just using one leg at a time. It's a little more challenging, but both versions work in the same way. So this is a, you can do 10 repetitions of these exercises. They're gonna help you to keep your hip healthy and pain-free. And see you next time with a few more exercises, okay?